Royal Enfield's INT650 and Continental GT650 models, introduced in 2019, embrace classic aesthetics and accessibility over cutting-edge performance, so they don't typically undergo frequent major updates. However, as the company's best sellers for the past five years, customers have demonstrated agreement with the notion that pure motorcycling joy doesn't necessarily require massive power or expensive technology. Therefore, when invited to Los Angeles to test the newly updated 2024 Twins, we were eager to witness and experience the changes while also hoping that Royal Enfield hadn't altered the successful Platform 2 drastically. Our rendezvous with Royal Enfield's team took place at the Motoring Club, a haven for automotive enthusiasts characterized by its spacious, well-designed layout. The atmosphere boasted a delightful array of automotive artifacts, from a disco ball hovering above a blue BMW 2002 to Christian Klein's Red Bull F1 car, juxtaposed with a go-kart powered by a lawnmower engine. Amidst this eclectic mix, nestled in the members-only section at the back, awaited the new Continental GT and INT650. For the 2024 updates, the INT650 maintains its standard motorcycle guise, featuring a rounded gas tank and a classic straight-line design extending from the tank to the flat 2-up seat. On the other hand, the Continental GT, sharing the same framework, suspension, engine, and braking elements, exudes a Cafe Racer-inspired aesthetic with a more angular gas tank, a solo cafe seat, and ergonomics leaning towards aggressive tucked-in positioning. These models incorporate enhancements already seen in the 2024 Super Meteor and Shotgun 650, such as cast aluminum switch housings and LED lighting. Although seemingly minor, these upgrades contribute to a heightened sense of quality and refinement in the bikes. Each model now offers two fresh blacked-out paint schemes, while the INT650 expands its palette with two additional colors to complement its traditional chrome finish lineup. Regardless of the chosen aesthetic, all models now boast adjustable clutch and front brake levers, upgraded seat tires, and enhanced seat designs featuring upgraded foam mesh padding. On the road, INT650. Departing from the motoring club as a collective, we swiftly navigated through the bustling Los Angeles traffic and onto the heavily congested I-10 freeway. Our first experience was with the INT650 in its new Barcelona Blue variant, showcasing a sunset gradient on the tank and meticulously applied metal flake base paint. Although Enfield characterizes the INT as a beach cruiser, its essence aligns more closely with that of a traditional retro standard. The riding posture remains upright and comfortable, embodying the epitome of a modern standard expectation. Most riders will find themselves with a natural reach to the handlebars and knees positioned at a close to 90 degree angle, offering a blend of comfort and control. As we merged onto the highway and embraced the Californian ethos, we swiftly made our way to the fast lane to weave through traffic. With no alterations to the engine or chassis platform, the ride unfolded just as anticipated. The engine hummed along, imbued with character yet devoid of any buzzing, responding promptly to throttle inputs courtesy of the 648 cubic centimeters SOHC air slash oil-cooled parallel twin, striking a harmonious balance suitable for a classically styled standard, neither excessive nor lacking. Exiting the highway and tracing the curves of Mulholland Drive, we eventually arrived at the Rock Store, a former stagecoach stop now transformed into a motorcycle enthusiast haven, open solely on weekends. Two antiquated gas pumps adorn the front, serving as relics with meters that peaked at 9.99 gallons and 99 cents, reflecting an era when fuel was seemingly limitless and absurdly inexpensive. Taking a moment to catch our breath and inspect the bikes, the majority of riders present expressed a preference for the traditional chrome finishes over the contemporary blacked-out style, while Royal Enfield's marketing leader strategically interjected with mentions of muscle and attitude, aiming to sway opinions. The diversity in preferences underscores the value of choice, with RE aptly catering to both chrome aficionados and those seeking a departure from tradition. I opted for a Continental GT in Slipstream Blue, boasting a striking combination of black base paint, white fenders, and a badge graphic detailed with a gradient of blue. On the road, Continental GT. The Continental GT models exude a bespoke feel, characterized by sportier ergonomics that may not accommodate everyone, myself included. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches, 
I found the clip-ons and rear-set foot controls on this chassis to be too snug, leading to discomfort setting in within mere minutes. However, it's worth noting that I represent a minority, comprising less than 2% of American males. Most riders will likely find this setup far more accommodating. Once again, Royal Enfield's 650 cubic centimeters lineup offers a welcome array of choices. Descending through Malibu's picturesque canyons, the setting sun dipped into the Pacific Ocean, and both the INT and Conti made it effortless to unwind and appreciate the breathtaking scenery. While previous models had somewhat stiff seating, the updated INT 650 now boasts a plush seat, enhancing comfort during upright rides. Unfortunately, we could only test an aftermarket touring seat on the GT, which proved to be a medium firm pad of commendable quality. Handling on both models feels instinctive, with no aspect of the standard 650s ride demanding excessive focus. Simply keep your head up, cruise along, and bask in the beauty of your surroundings. Whether you're listening to music through your headset or savoring the P-Twins exhaust note, these bikes offer an enjoyable experience for both seasoned riders and novices alike. The 2024 changes introduce fresh styles and increased variety to beloved platforms. With prices starting at $6,849 for the newly blacked out INT650 and $7,149 for the GT model, they remain comfortably within acceptable margins compared to previous base prices. Additionally, the new Cali Green and Canyon Red models, equipped with chrome and spoked wheels, are priced at only $6,149. Navigating our way back through Venice Beach towards the Motoring Club at 4 p.m., we encountered Los Angeles' notorious rush hour. As expected, traffic proved to be a hassle, but the bike's laid-back demeanor ensured a stress-free and straightforward journey. Upon returning to the Motoring Club, intrigued car enthusiasts paused to admire the bikes. As we cruised past at 30 miles per hour, we could easily be mistaken for a vintage club. While we may not exude that level of coolness, our ratio of riding to tinkering is certainly commendable. Verdict. Ultimately, these bikes offer exceptional value for their price. With an expanded range of options, customers now have more choices at their disposal. Moreover, everyday essentials such as switch housings and headlights have received upgrades in quality without burdening the customer with significant price hikes. In essence, the subtle enhancements retain the ample character, user-friendliness, and affordability that we hold in high regard for these two models. Thanks for watching. Please like Share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.